top of Plot Butte, southeast of Bandit, Central Oregon. Uh, I think this is Plot Butte. There's a lot of other small hills around here. But anyway, I think I'm uh, facing roughly west now. Notice it's mostly a uh, short pine forest. Not a lot of gravel or dirt roads. There's some power lines, transmission lines ahead. Notice in the hills ahead there are uh, still some snow near the top. I think that's the Polina Peak directly ahead. And then towards the right, I think that's one of the three sisters. And then um, I don't remember the name of those hills. There's a whole bunch of hills, small ranges around here. They all look the same to me. here and then it's just open sort of grassland or a uh, sort of sagebrush land beyond that. Same thing here now I'm facing east. Again there's a little bit of pine forest here and then beyond that it's just open for quite a ways and then more pine forest in the distance. Also notice all the little hills. Same thing here. Here's southeast. A lot of small hill 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 butte 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 whatever you call it. Now I'm looking roughly south. As you can see, uh, this butte's not completely flat on top. There's a lot of rocks, sort of shaped like a small ridge. I'm going to walk over there in a minute. And here we are. What is this? South now. Lots of forest. Like all the buttes over there. Covered in and then I'm looking back southeast. Or so now let me go over this way to the other end of the butte real quick. Hopefully I can do it without falling down. It's a bit uneven up here. Cool, look at the holes in this rock here. Let's see if I can get closer. This is obviously volcanic rock, so I'm assuming that means when this rock hardens that there was uh, air bubbles, well, air, some sort of gas. I mean, it could have been sulfur dioxide, I don't know, but anyway, some sort of vapor bubbles in there. So it, you know, didn't make a nice, neat shape. Wow, a lot of pretty stuff growing there. All sorts of gr bright green, lime green, orange, huh. If it was any bigger, I'd almost call it a cave. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, we'll call those voids. How's that sound? It's almost flat here. If it weren't for all these plants, you could launch a drone from up here. We are in the middle of nowhere. It is legal to fly a drone here, but yeah, it's not, not nice and neat up here. Let me go to the far end so I get a view of the ground. It's late spring. It's uh, mid-May right now. I guess that's early spring. I don't know. The elevation here is over a mile, so this high up the spring is actually a bit later than real world. Notice here on the rocks, a lot of stuff growing. I'm going to try not to trample that. I'm going to go around here. Oh wow. Look at that little ridge of red and white stuff there. It's really cool. I have no idea what it is, but it's pretty. Excuse, there's a road that we're part way up here and then you could park down there. Might be a good place to camp out if you really want to camp out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but there's a dirt road, all sorts of stuff out there. A lot of these roads I'm not familiar with at all. So I'll just do a quick circle again here so you can see where I've gone. And then there's the ridge I came on, or whatever, hill, butte, elevated land. And finally, there's that other butte. So, yeah, a decent little view up here. If it weren't windy, it would be really quiet. But he has a pretty good wind right now.